In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up a steady state simulation for a compressor design using Turbo Setup. I'll also demonstrate how to create a speed line using the operating conditions and performance map features available in Turbo Setup. I'll start by creating the default one dimensional mean line design for the impeller in Vista CCD. The settings used to generate a design in Vista CCD may be transferred to a turbo machinery fluid flow system from the existing Vista CCD cell. This creates a turbo setup system with the geometric and duty settings imported from Vista CCD. A three dimensional CAD file is automatically generated from the one dimensional mean line design in Blade Editor. The turbo mesh and CFX simulation settings are defined according to the specifications outlined in turbo setup. In Turbo Setup, I can define the base duty, working fluid properties, geometric conditions, and operating conditions pertaining to my simulation. Defining a simulation this way is much quicker, however, the analysis type that can be set is restricted to a Reynolds Average Navier Stokes CFD calculation. Next, I'll update the Turbo Mesh and Setup cell. My initial design is ready for analysis, but I would like to compare the performance of this design to a second design. Turbo Setup allows me to directly compare the results generated by any two Turbo Machinery Fluid Flow apps. I'll duplicate my Turbo Machinery system and select No so that the duplicated system is not connected to the original geometry. Now I can duplicate the Blade Editor system and connect it to the duplicated Turbo Machinery system. In the duplicated Blade Editor system, I'll modify the blade angles of this design by opening the Blade 1 tree and selecting the first blade camber line sketch. This allows me to quickly change the trailing edge blade angle. With my new blade design specified, I want to evaluate the performance of each design by plotting a speed line. This can be done quickly in Turbo Setup by opening the interface and selecting the Operating Conditions tab. In this tab, I can specify a speed line at a particular rotational speed for a range of mass flow rates. I may also specify the number of design points that I wish to plot over the given interval. For this demonstration, I'll create a speed line at 100% of the rotational speed for each design using five different mass flow rates for each line. Selecting Generate Design Points transfers my specifications to Workbench, which automatically parameterizes the necessary variables and creates the design points based on my settings in Turbo Setup. Looking at the Parameterization tab, I can see that the project has been appropriately defined in Workbench. Now, I'll update my project, letting Workbench automatically run a simulation on each design point. With both designs simulated at each mass flow rate, I can plot the results in the Performance Map tab of the Turbo Setup interface. Here, I can freely designate the X and Y axis variables to produce a number of useful plots. Speed lines showing the isotropic efficiency and pressure ratio can be generated. I can also plot a chart showing the temperature ratio as a function of the mass flow rate for each design. From these results, I can make accurate deductions about my designs, streamlining the design optimization process. This concludes this demonstration on how to use the Turbo Setup system to determine a centrifugal compressor's performance.